Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a pin clock in Scratch. Let's get started. So first, since we're using pin, you're going to want to add the pin extension, of course. And then, you're going to want to make a custom block. Make this one draw clock. And then radius. Add an input. Radius. And then, yeah, run without screen refresh. Okay, now you're going to want to erase all, point in direction zero, which is straight up, and then set pin size to five. Nice. Now what you're going to want to do is first we need to draw the circle, which is the clock face. So repeat 360 times, because there's 360 degrees in a circle, pin up, go to zero, zero, which is the center, move steps, and then move radius steps, so that it's taking it to the edge of the circle, and then pin down to draw a dot, and then turn one degrees to the right. This is just, just exactly like um, my other video, using the pin, the circle video of that. So it's basically just the same thing. So if we were to grab this block, draw clock radius, let's say 100, there's that. We can go ahead and hide the cat because we don't need it. Now for actually the ticks, because to be able to read the clock, you need to know like where it is. So another repeat loop, repeat 12 times because there's 12 major ticks, 12 hours on the clock, pin up, basically just duplicate all this, pin up, go to zero, zero, but then for this, move radius minus, and then, so this is for each of the big ticks on each hour, so you can play around with this number, the bigger it is, the bigger their line will be, I'm going to try just 15, and then pin down to start drawing, and then instead of this, because now we're like here, but we need to actually draw the line all the way. So move 15 steps or whatever the other number you did here. So whatever this is, do it right here. And then you're going to want to turn five degrees. And that is just because 360 divided by 60 is 60. And so then there are 12 of them, so five, is for each one. Turn five degrees. And then inside of that, below that, add another repeat loop. Repeat five times for each second tick in between. Not the big one, just the little ones. You can duplicate all of this down to here. But then instead of this, you're gonna want a smaller number. I'll do like four. And then remember to replace this with that number and get rid of this loop at the bottom if you duplicated it. So there is that. If I'm to run this, you'll see we have a beautiful clock face. But it's typically not blue, so we can make it black or whatever color you want by setting the pin color to what you want. I'm gonna do black. So nice, <coughs> there is that. Now I actually need to be able to tell the time with it. So to do that, we're going to need to make a new custom block. Make this one, draw our hand, and then radius, not radius, actually length, add an input length. And this is just so we have more customization of how long we want the hand to be. So for this, you can basically just pin up, go to zero, zero. If this looks familiar, it's because we just did this. Go to zero, zero. And then this is the more tricky part. Point in direction, 360 divided by 60. And so that's 360 degrees, because it's in a circle. And then divided by 12, actually. Sorry, I was reading the wrong thing. Divided by 12, because there are 12 hours on the clock. Multiply that by the current hour. And the way you do that is in the sensing category. There's this block, current year you can make that current hour. And then in order to make it actually move, not just each hour, 
you're going to add that to the current second, current minute divided by 60. So if you duplicate this, and because there's 60 minutes in an hour, that just adds a bit of like buffer so it moves with the minute hand and not just one tick every hour divided by 60. So there's that. You can put this here. And then just go ahead and pin down and then move length steps. And if we were to grab this block, 15. You'll see it draws that, but we need to make that longer. So like 40. There we go. Now, then you can also add the coloration if you want. I'll just keep it black. And yeah. So now we're going to need to do that for the minute and second. So just go ahead and make a custom block, draw a minute hand, and then length. Add an input length. Run without screen refresh. Okay. Duplicate all of this over. And just replace this with 60 because there are 60 minutes instead of 12 hours. Make this minute. And then instead of minute, it's second. And so then you can change the length if you want. But I'm just going to leave it with that for now. Make a new custom block, draw second hand, surprise, surprise, length, add an input length. Hard without screen refresh. Okay. Duplicate this over. And I'm actually going to make it red because the second hand tends to be red. And then you can just get rid of all of this except for this. Because there's nothing smaller than the second that Scratch can detect at least. And so there's just that. So now if we were to go back over here, we can add finally a when green flag clipped block. For the first time, we haven't actually used that. And then draw a clock. Radius, I'll stick to 100. And just test that that's a good length. Yep, that's a good size. And then draw the hour hand. Length 40. Actually, I'm going to make that, yeah, 40 is good. And then draw a minute hand, length 60, because it's longer than the hour hand, maybe even a bit bigger, maybe 70. And then second hand, also 70, because it's the same length as the minute hand. So now, I'm, if we run this, we'll see we have a nice functional clock. But that is not updating. Why is that? That is because, I actually don't know why that is bad. That is because I, you need to make this. So for this, point in direction, 360 divided by 60, which is just six times current second. I'm so good at this whole thing. I guess I'm going to need to play Coconut Mall again, aren't I? Yeah. So there's that. If I... So, the challenge for today... If you can tell me what time it is on this clock, you will win something. It's probably a shout-out. It is a shout-out. But, yeah. So, comment your guess in the description below. Subscribe, like, comment, I should tell you that. Join my Discord, link is in the description. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.